They're starting. This if I were a red team, I would have taken a minute to uh, compose myself and like strategize. Oh, oh God. God! Press down on that stick, man. So that's 80% for a fox. Uh, power of Peach Cheek. It really sucks to get stuck between Peach and another person in teams, <laughs> and especially Sheik because they both have uh, multiple hit down yeah. smashes. Just, I mean, he basically made like Ooh. two mistakes in his stock. It's gone. But uh, there you see the one hit edge guard from Brandon. Oh, nice rest, but then oh. he gets punished. Yeah. Alan, uh, you sh down to two stocks in the peach really quickly. Let's see that yeah, wow. I, how did he lose? Oh, yeah. He got rested and rest. shine spike. Yeah. Two hits. Damn. Yeah. Oh, Alan is somebody who uh, I, I've seen him get shine spiked a lot by <laughs> the better Fox players. Wow. Okay. Nice follow up. Yeah. Brandon. It really looks like he's uh, he's, they got, it looks like they got their teamwork Ooh. together in this last set. Their teamwork was not really on point throughout good, the day. Good job by Alan, um, covering his partner's recovery though. It was really clever there. They tried to abuse uh, Puff's rest lag by closing out the ledge guard on Brandon, but oh, they yeah. didn't quite have enough time, despite that long nap she takes. Oh, okay. Uh, so much, yeah, so much chaos. Yeah, everyone's looks like. Okay, so last oh, set, no. we said on commentary dead. that how the sign of good teams is a lot of it's played by the ledge because once one person gets knocked off, all four people collapse there. <laughs> and that's exactly yeah, what happened. Yeah, it absolutely. didn't happen at all throughout the whole tournament until then. But we have a, we have an almost tie game, despite, except for Alan's, uh, yeah. you know, high percent Alan almost already out of the game. But also, um, when they were all off stage, the blue team did manage to come on top. Yeah. And that's just a sign of their you know, better synergy and experience as a team. Yeah. Because Puff and Fox are good characters off stage too, Ooh, but... Wow. Okay, okay. Yeah, good job by Shroom picking up the kill on Brandon. Okay, so this this is really close now, and Blue Team has really brought it back. They're even winning by a tiny bit. Um, the one, one saving grace for the red team is that... Oh god, oh god! I was gonna say Puff can't get killed like by a straight up smash or something, like as if there were a fox. But instead, yeah. the blue team is smart and they just gangbang the fox. <laughs> Press down on the sticks. Yes. Yep. Like okay. You said. Um. That isn't that bad though, because they definitely do want Brandon to take that last stock. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I think it was a turn of and an up air. Yeah. It looked like it was like a stitch raise or something. But. Uh, smart, smart oh. by Shroom not going to the ledge. In single yeah. team, might have gotten caught going to the ledge. Oh, good stuff. I think. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. All right. So, uh, you know, Shroom is a stronger player overall, but this is a one stock match. Anything yeah, can happen. Anything one stock. Can happen. Get you get it wave shine to the ledge and you know killed somehow. Homemade waffles is also quite a patient and. Uh, yeah, yeah a patient player, which is very good against Sheik overall. He doesn't seem to be very patient right now, though. <laughs> yeah, don't have a lot of those early oh. neutral airs. Yeah. Um, which is He's, a sign that, I, you know. I swear, he usually shoots the gun. Yeah, Shroom is too good at ledge guarding, but Ooh, then... Not that time. Yeah. Once, uh, the first ledge guard was the free one. The second one, he had more of a chance. What a down tilt. Oh god, oh, Chokesies, Brandon laughing, he knows he messed that up really bad. But even though, uh, you know, blue team went serious, went probably their strongest team, it's still a very close match. It was very, very close. Quite the, quite the set. Uh, yeah, this is... Because, you know, blue, DeWan and Allen were sandbagged the first set and whatever, yeah. they didn't care that much, but even after, like, you know, Playing the real characters, that was close as hell. Yeah. You know, just just a, like an up smash away from winning that game. Okay, so they're talking about their counter picks. I yeah, this think is the first Stadium time, is a good one. First time red team has had to counter pick this set. Yeah. Stadium is good because Fox is good on it. And also, um, okay, Yoshi's is, is better for Peach Cheek as a team and Absolutely. also good for teams who are good at working in close quarters. That is like the one and Allen. Yeah. FD is bad because you can get walled out from your teammate. Then that they probably don't want to deal with survivability on bigger stages. So I, I think this is the right counter play. <laughs> oh, Brandon oh, just wow. standing there and waiting for the opportunity. Yeah. Knew it would come. 
I think blue team both going off stage and trying to kill the pup there was probably not a good idea. No. Um, red team has really upped their coordination in the last half hour. They're like, they're actually doing a... Oh, oh such good team setups! My God. I think uh, Brandon let out a little scream right there. <laughs> a little shriek. Uh, but man, crouch canceling is really good. You can't nair peach like that. And, and Brandon knows that too, so I'm surprised he went for it. That uh, was a risky edge guard from Island. Because the puff was right there. Could have gotten smacked off stage. Quite the opposite of last game though. Allen held on to that stock to a really high percent and uh, yeah. Shroom the one lacking some stocks. Uh, Blue Fox is playing too far away there and then he yeah. got zoned out once he tried to come in. Red team not in, out of position there. Yeah, the, red team is like doing good teamwork when they get close, but they're not doing a good job knowing when to like get close to each other, knowing when to collapse on each other. Uh -huh. um, see, look, Blue Fox plays really far back and with Puff in the air, it, can, it takes like a good amount of time to get over there. It is a good idea in positions like that, though, where you have both of the blue team sort yeah. of pinned to the edge to keep them there. In a 2-on-2, it's okay to play a little bit farther back like that, but yeah, before he was doing that in a 2-on-1, and that's definitely not what you, sure. you want to do. And like, uh, like a 2-on-1 when his teammate was, had no more stocks. <laughs> not like he was going to come down from the respawn platform. Okay, really close battle again. Um, this might even actually favor red team just a little bit. Because if, you know, okay, two kills, then... Blue team's strength is though, they play really well near the ledge, and Allen saves Dewan so well. So it'll be hard to get these kills. Uh -huh. And he whiffed three uh, F-tilts there, but Brandon wasn't able to punish any of them. They could still live. Wow. See? Oh, oh no. I said he was good at saving, but... But uh, one just sold it too low, could not recover himself. Okay, oh. okay. Oh! oh. oh. Brian uh, contributing to that team combo by <laughs> So, Shakes this is... Of, uh, Armada. People uh, who are playing against one Spacey and one Floaty, this is what they want the stocks to be like. Yeah. They want to be fighting the Spacey and taking advantage of how easy it is to kill him. Mm -hmm. Like, don't waste your time approaching Puff. That's what a Kalamazoo and Toph were <laughs> struggling with. See, and now Brandon is being confident enough to know that he can go in over uh, Blue Fox. He knows that Blue Fox is going to let him go in. Before they were kind of struggling with knowing who was going to go in. Okay, um, that's not die right here. Oh wow, that was. Uh, see, see, they're just opting to try to double team. I didn't even hit Blue Fox. I don't know if yeah. that was the right idea, but well, definitely, yeah, going for the two v one while you have the chance. Okay, oh, now we got Blue Fox versus uh, versus Shroom. The Shroom, obviously a more renowned player, but again, these percents, one hit. Ooh. Well, maybe not one hit, but... Yeah, I mean, potentially uh, one yeah, hit. Yeah, much more is going to be a problem. Oh, okay, okay. It looks to me like uh, Blue Fox is like kind of trying to bait Shroom, but it's not going to work. Okay, well, damn, that was an opportunity. I can hear so Blue tense. Fox's controller oh, and how he's no. controlling his horse on the momentum. <laughs> <laughs> then it, his little dash dance gets him killed. Okay, again, really close. Can they take one? Or two? It, or three. Yeah. Oh, the, you see the Marth again. I don't know about this. They did just this lose three games in a row. I don't know if Shrooms wants to be messing around. Yeah, especially considering those last two games were really close. And Stadium, not a, like a great Marth stage by any means. Nowadays, uh, I think people, Marth players, or at least Shroomed and PPU, think it's good for Marth. Because um, of the no top platform, you mean? Yeah, as well as the platforms being easy for Marth kill setups. Yeah. So yeah, the combination of those two things. Um, Ooh. And, yeah, uh, that said, you know, this stage, like, nice. this, yeah, okay, she's done. Okay. Bootin definitely struggling with uh, getting the kills without that Dewan Sheik, though. Yeah, He's so slap. good at, yeah, slapping and, and ledge guarding with Sheik's bear, like, oh, that reverse booty by the Peach, man. Wow. Alright, so, the... The red team is is doing a good job, and I I think you were right that this Marth was not the best choice. But 
Uh, do you think he is actually just messing around, or does he, does no, he actually he's, think this is the right decision? He's messing around, but he's also prideful, so I think after how badly he lost, he wants to show that that was a fluke, but... Unfortunately, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think it was look a fluke. Like it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, it is the loser's bracket advantage where you've been playing sets. They played, you know, 10 games on the stream in a row while... Dewan and Alan were sitting next to me commentating and TOing. Wow, that falling up air. So, Red Team is like, they're playing their best melee right now. Uh -huh. They haven't played the good, this good the whole time, and they're super warmed up. So, I think that really has worked to their advantage. Oh! I loved how Dewan did the throw there. and uh, Oh, did he? Yeah, he did do the throw. Oh, wow. Good stuff. I'm not sure if you get additional knockback, but you do get additional percent. Ooh. Oh, okay. Brandon really had no good tech option there because the Peach wanted him to tech in, but the one was gonna was in position to cover anything else. Oh, nice. That's a funny thing that happens in teams where if you hit your teammate and the opponent in the same area, yeah, your teammate can sometimes uh, end up continuing the combo. Generally, that means that they were at lower percent and then you know they got out of stun earlier. <laughs> I love Peach's dying sound. Doesn't everybody? Wow. This sounds in melee. Right? Just Overall, so good. Yeah, shout outs to Nintendo's uh, sound design. Uh, gotta gotta figure out who it was for this game. I'll look that shit up sometimes. Oh, wow, Jesus. yeah, that's a, that's a big sandwich combo there. Getting the massive damage and the kill. Okay, so now uh, game is really tight. Uh, Alan's gonna try to save the one. Oh, but nice. Brandon with a great ledge hog. Blue Fox, is, Blue Fox is playing really well right now. I don't think, I don't know if I've seen Brian play this well, like, hardly. Oh, oh that's the third time oh, he's wow. crouched rest, save. though. Good save by Brandon. There, that was, like, probably the only way they could have gotten out of that without either of them getting crushed. Yeah, crouch rest isn't that hard. I'm surprised Brian missed it last game. Right there, so. I think the oh, no! Is. Oh, no! There goes their lead. Jesus. That's, that's the power of Peach and Teams, man. That was two hits, and now that's he could die. Game. Yeah. Oh! Oh, no. oh, he almost ate the booty. <laughs> nice! Oh. Alan putting himself in a, uh, a bad position there, trying to ledge guard. Ooh, Brandon okay. probably should have just held on. See, play closer, Brian! Play closer! God! <laughs> oh, see... You don't need to be a, like a. You need. You want to be like one fox dash dance length behind him, not like two. Nice. Okay. Very. Okay. Finally closing out a game. Well, I guess not finally. <laughs> Still not closing out a game against <laughs> their optimal uh, characters, but still beating their suboptimal ones. That's it. Uh. Shroom. Alan was playing Sheik for all of last set, and uh, Peach is his preferred character in teams. So this is like. You know, halfway between <laughs> what they were last at. Oh, so right yeah. there, Blue Fox is like just hopping in the middle of the stage while Homemade Waffles is in a very dangerous situation. I mean, that is a weakness of playing floaties and teams that it's hard to approach, but yeah. still. Oh god! Oh. Yeah, if he had done the getup, maybe he could have uh, gotten the kill. Uh, dual edge guard? Like either of them are gonna going for a double ledge guard is almost always worse than just the fox running across the stage and doing a two on one ledge guard. I think just look now they especially didn't get when, any kills. Especially when one of the opponents is Peach. Yeah, right, right, right. That's actually that's a really good point. Even if one of the opponents is not Peach, you should still take the one free kill over the two possible ones. If the opponent is a floaty Peach Samus to Puff, yeah, then you should never try to ledge guard them. It's just a waste of time. It's so hard to like. Be in that mindset though to like <laughs> give up a kill for yourself to help your teammate. Uh, people, people just need a a better, better mindset wow. for teams. That was a good bait. Yeah, I uh, I wrote an article about teams and team fundamentals. One thing that like a lot of people don't understand going to teams is that time is your most valuable resource. So when you're wasting time like trying to ledge guard a floaty, that's like the worst thing you can do. You really want to set up two-on-ones with that time instead. 
Especially because two on one ledge guards are really easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, Especially against Mars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like. Just grab there's, the ledge, wait for him to get on stage. It really is a no brainer. You just. One person ledge hogs, the other person uses their finisher. Yeah. So, red team, one stock lead. Rest? No? Okay. Right. Yeah, you know, red team is. It's doing really well. It's, blue team is really gambling on uh, not picking their mains. Yeah. Because it's going to be game five, and they almost lost games one and two. Yeah, they've been getting good combos on Brandon, but they haven't been finishing him off. Nah. And blue Fox is, is really carrying his own weight, though. Yeah, yeah. There. Good DI for Brandon. Sorry, cover for you one sec. Red team off stage. Wow, crazy save. Okay, okay sorry. The board stuff off stage. Oh, wow. That Marth Ward smash. Flanking with a shine. Good pressure from Brandon. Ooh. Oh, what? Alan! That was uncharacteristic. No to do that. Yeah. You don't see blue team like fumble over each other very much. I don't think they have, like, killed each other at all until right now. Yeah, yeah. Rest? Okay, too low of a percent, though. Glad to see he can hit that rest out of shield. Too many puffs go for suboptimal punishes. Yeah, yeah. Like, there, there are so many... Like, almost every smash attack puff can rest out of shield. Oh! So nice, oh. looking like Pupu you right there. Crossing up the shield and uh, Alan pivot grabbing him. Alan not following up though. Yeah, unfortunately Peach doesn't have like the best move for that situation either. Okay, Shroom is moving really well. Okay, but then he gets grabbed. <laughs> he was he was doing a great job making himself elusive and uh, still fighting continuously. Rest. Nice. Yeah. Alan Prangles. Okay, game five. What if they lose the set? <laughs> This is tournament point for our team's tournament. Yeah. So here we go. Last stop, right. last set. Where are they going to go? Yoshi's? They should go Yoshi's or FD. That they scrolled over those two and they'll probably go Yoshi's. They're asking uh, what stages were played because of DSR stuff and the answer is I have no fucking idea. <laughs> okay, FD. Alright, so here we get we get last game. Looks like Pupu is trying to get in for the the climax of this amazing team's grand final All right. set. Game five, let's go. So in games one and two, Alan and Dewan won by like a one hit and a one on one. And then they started sandbagging and going alts, and now they're back. Yeah, see, that's actually a problem that uh, Dewan has a lot of the time. He too just much pride? Too, he has too many teams characters, oh. and sometimes it can get a little confusing. Yeah, I don't understand why he went Falcon earlier, but uh, <laughs> if you could explain like the flow of of this set. Well, okay, Falcon was the last set, so that the the first set was the they just got 3 0 would uh -huh. making shitty characters. Then what about uh? How were the past four games? Right. I didn't so, get so, to closely yeah, yeah, okay, watch. Yeah. Game one and two, very close, and they won with Peach Sheik. One hit, one on ones. Okay. One stock. Games three and four, they Dewan picked Mark and they lost. That was a great save by Brian or uh, the Jigglypuff right there. Yeah. So confusing as it might be, the person whose tag is Blue Fox is the Puff player. Yes, that's true. Neither Blue. <laughs> Blue no. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was an obvious mistake. <coughs> Shout out to Alvin doing that when I we played against Nima. Okay, that was that was a nice save. I feel like uh, Shroom should have uh, just gone for an attack. So this stage is really working out for Blue Team because of their. Oh wow! Great spacing on the, the shield there. But uh, for a well-coordinated team, FD is a really big tool because you can zone people out and get two-on-ones. It's true. And we've seen oh, that God, that that's FD, not good. Blue team has controlled the center of the stage like for most of the game. Oh! The equalizer! Go! God damn! Double rest! Oh hey, could that be the, the set winning rest? Who knows? Okay, we'll see. Oh, okay, okay. That was that was certainly a wake up call for blue teams. So yes. Let's see how they react to that. Yeah, you know, Dewan isn't gonna be happy if he doesn't get to buy his corn pops. Yeah, it's true. Say it. Uh, okay, nice. Red team is doing a really good job, actually, like 
coordinating and uh, going in and out as a team. They ha they weren't doing that earlier. But now it seems like they've gotten more of the uh, the dance rhythm with each other. It's true. You see them uh, see? going over and under each other to, yeah. to mix up their, their pressure in the corner. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Brilliant. And then Brandon with some really bad DI. Wow, that, that DI was crucial. Uh, I, I just don't think he was expecting a forward throw. <laughs> He was expecting Dewan to go in and hit him. Yeah, I've noticed that he hasn't been wiggling out, and uh, in teams you should really get in the habit of doing that, because people will hold you for forever. Oh! oh! I think that is really crucial. And th then... Fourth throw? Oh, okay, come on! Okay. You can, yeah, you can mash out match there! That, that was you've five got to pummels! Match that. Come on! Uh, Sheridan has a rule where he says every 50% should only mean one, one more pummel. pummel. Yeah. yeah. And, you know... There are people who can actually do much better than that, too. Oh, yeah. But uh, I, for for normal fingers, yeah. I believe it's 50%. Yeah, 50% is, is very reasonable, I'd say. Okay, uh, this should be a chain grab. Oh, okay. They're trying to style, <laughs> I guess. Brandon is probably the third best 2-on-1 player in North. Nah, four. Okay. Oh! But uh, Alan was praising Brandon's 2-on-1 earlier as well, saying it's really good. I think he's the third. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. there we go. There we so go. So is he better than Dewan or Zach? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think Zach is the fourth. Okay, okay. Yeah.